Yes, sir. Um, yeah, I was just going to ask, how did you uh, find and recruit the actors? Had, how did she find the actors? Yeah, like, oh, find, were they all okay. professional actors? At the, at how did you find them? Oh, there was a gang member in the movie, isn't there? Yes, yes. Uh, the gang member was um, uh, Raphael, I think. I'm, I'm not sure. Not Paul Calderon. That's another story altogether. And uh, Raphael told me the first day of shooting, he said he was really a gang member, part of a gang in Harlem. And he said, I threw up all night. I was so scared. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> to be in the film. <laughs> and he was, was in the whole film. He was the whole way through. So but Paul Calderon, who uh, is, um, oh God, God. He's the guy who got stabbed towards the end. Yes, that's yeah. right. I can't remember his name. Uh, with a bandana. He's the only person I know of who yeah. made it out of all these films. He's a real actor. Mm -hmm. In the real films. Um, <laughs> is, this, is this a real film? No. <laughs> yeah. It's not? No. This showed in over 200 theaters nationwide, yeah, is that right? Yeah. And probably, we're watching it at the probably, Tribeca yeah. Festival 40 years, 35 probably, years after it was made. More. Yeah. More, more, than, more than 200? Well, you know, it's compared to Billy Wilder. <laughs> well, at that point, there's only six movies that are real movies if, if you're comparing it to them. Thank you for your question. Anybody else have any questions for? Yes, sir. Uh, just uh, was it your intention to also shoot the film in pre production, or was that something that came from? Oh, good. A budget? Leading question. Was it your intention to shoot the film, or was somebody else going to direct the film when it was in pre production? Oh, are you representing Jim Joel Bender? <laughs> I'm not. No, I, just, I was just. What is this? I, 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 he's a ringer, clearly. He's read. He's read uh, the story of a Roberta Finlay. Please tell the story that the man is alluding to. Thank you. Uh, indeed, that is correct. That is correct. But Walter again. His no, no, but they, they, they don't know what's correct. I'll, 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 I'll lead uh, into it a little bit. Joel Bender was supposed to be the director of the film. I don't know how that came about. He didn't write the script or anything. He has. A, he has a co-writing credit. Does he? Yeah. No. <laughs> on, this, on this print, he does. Okay. He does. He, right. he and his partner. Yeah, yeah. That's a, the, the script. All Remember? Right. That's All right. Okay. Then that's, that's how it came about. Yeah. Uh, so he was to be the director. And um, Walter said, this guy has no conception of how it is that we should do this in like two weeks or whatever. Uh, he wanted to get into the smallest space possible to shoot. That isn't the way you do it. <laughs> you get the, the biggest space possible and sh cut it down with the camera. Uh, anyway, um, about four days before the shoot, uh, Walter produced his contract that said, uh, blah, 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 blah. And at the end said, if I don't like any of this part of this contract, it's null and void. <laughs> and that was the end of that. He brought you. He, he had a ringer. He knew. Well, I didn't bring me in. We, I. You were there. You were we producing. Were, were, were you going to DP it anyway? Oh, of course, of course. For those of you who don't know, and, and Roberta keeps of talking course. about Walter, Walter, who gets the producing credit and the music credit, is Walter Sear, who created Sear Sound, the esteemed, very famous um, recording studio, music studio here in New York City. Um, Roberta was his partner. And yeah. still runs Sear Sound to this day, and they are very famous. It is famous. Why? Because it is, I believe, the only analog recording studio still in existence, at least in New York City. Well, yes and no. no. <laughs> Electric Lady, but Electric you know, Lady has analog equipment. But we we do. Uh, any, anyway, he he and I were partners. Indeed, that is true. And it, generally, he was the production manager. Uh, um, everything but I shot all the pictures as the cameraman on all the pictures and this particular picture for your information um, was shot I think on a Panaflex I think um, a, that's a long another long story um, we had we still have I still have a, a blimp there a flex a, a prime blimp and a, a zoom blimp and we went to General Cameron. Uh, we needed to fix the uh, gate. And he said, he was on 37th and 12th. He said, 
take this camera, walk down a block, and <laughs> drop it in to the into the river. river. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we've been, we have a limited amount of time, oh, 